second episode of the day and I wanted to use people that I wanted to talk to people that use appearances in order for them to determine someone is true. Now, right now, as I'm speaking to you here, I am wearing what looks like an Angela Galasso t-shirt. Yes, it is an Angela Galasso t-shirt, but this is a fake. Now, I want to highlight here with this here, and I want you to take away, whenever you see me with this t-shirt, just for play, <laughs> you will never see me wearing this outside of the studio. When you see all these individuals that wear it, whether you're Yubi Ranger, you're Bushiri, Apostle Mashallah, whoever wears these things, especially uh, prophets from Zimbabwe, they like wearing this this brand. It was made popular by yours truly, Prophet Yubi. <laughs> He's the one who made it popular. But then, the thing that a lot of people take away when they see a person wearing this is that the person has money. And I'm here to dispel that, to kind of dismiss it. Now, the reason why I'm saying this, another reason, second reason why I'm putting this out, is that if you go to Small Street, if you go to your Marara start, wherever you, you buy fake clothes, to all the Somali shops, you might not find an Angela Galasso, just to be very clear. You might find it in the Nigerian boutique shops, okay? Which is where I got this one. Now, because it is a fake, it doesn't mean it will be cheap. It's just a fact, right? So a, a, a legit t-shirt from Foshina, or I don't know. Did I just say Foshina? <laughs> Father, redeem my tongue from, <laughs> from charlatan unionism. Now, because you can go to Marawastat, you can go to Small Street, you can go to all these places where you buy fake clothes. Like you can find fake Gucci, fake... Uh, whatever, all these big labels. Uh, you might not find Angela Colors, okay? Might not find it. Okay, as a matter of fact, you, yeah, I give you 80%, you won't find it. Maybe in one or two shops, but this one, you will find it in the Nigerian boutique shops. The Nigerian boutique shops, they have it, but what I, what I found, like particularly the guy that sold me this one, <laughs> He was trying to sell me on the idea that this is legit. This is the authentic one. <laughs> I had to pull him aside and say, my brother, who are you fooling? <laughs> How much is it? He's like, no, the original is 2000 <laughs> This guy is a joke. <laughs> I said, my brother, Angela Galasso is a 10,000 to 15,000 rent t-shirt. Because a person is wearing, it doesn't mean the person is rich. These people, they know what you perceive of this thing. And so they can come out wearing it so that they can brush, brush, brush your eyes. And then before you know it, you are swindled because someone was wearing a shirt that made them look like they are rich. This t-shirt is, I say, Ricky, it's expensive. Yeah, that's what it is. Now, I'm only going to be using it for a set. The same way you see me wearing... Uh, the judge's clothes and what what, the inspector, the, the, the detective and whatnot. I'm going to use it as a prop for this news show. Perception that a person who is out there watching is that I've never seen an Angela Galasso at Marara Start. I've never seen an Angela Galasso at Small Street. And so you take that mentality to say, because I've never seen an Angela Galasso in these areas, that must mean that this t-shirt is original. They are there. You just don't know them. Mm. And your pastors are very much connected. <laughs> they are connected to those ones who sell the fakes. This t-shirt is 600 bucks. But what does what is the perception of a person who's looking outside? They see it. They think you are wearing a 10,000 rand shirt. Mumu. <laughs> That's the first thing that they, they assume. Okay? Now, as I've stated, it's not the most popular. But those that know it, know it. Those that see it, see it. And those that you're trying to kind of portray the message to, to say, yeah, when you are made. When they see it, they will assume that. Can't it's not even so. Yeah, you see, this time I didn't, I didn't want to just say, I wanted to, to say it while I'm wearing it. So it's here. Here is the receipt. <laughs> here is the receipt. 600 bucks. So stop being told. Stop having this perception that you see all these people wearing this thing and you think they are wearing the authentic or they are wearing the, the original the original $1,000 t-shirt. For me, it's ridiculous that you even spend that much. Okay, My normal t-shirt normally are 30 rand. You guys know I go by 
30 rand t-shirts at Mr. Price and print my YouTube thing, I'm done. It's not. It's a costume. <laughs> this is a costume. Stop falling for costumes. Because someone is wearing something that you think, yeah, no. You see? Especially churches like your ECGs. All they are is just suits. It's people with suits. I don't know Bible. Like, ECG. There's no Bible at ECG. Those people don't care about God. They are all about looks. How sharp do they look? How nice are they angled properly? People are ashamed. You have reduced Christianity to that. I feel sorry for you. And even, even the one that, that looks at things and then starts thinking, that must be a very, that is a very expensive t-shirt that that person is wearing. The problem is that you've been to Marawastad and you didn't see it. You went to Small Street, you didn't see it. So you concluded you can only buy this thing authentic. You can, the, the Nigerian boutique shops have it. Here it is. Here. Okay, I'm not just pointing and saying, no, it's out there. No, yeah, I'm wearing it. <laughs> For me, it's a costume. Text reality show. We do daily Christian commentary videos. Please stop being duped. Every now and then, you see all these people doing all these things, and then they cajole you to, to make you think that they are wearing something. No, they might have bought it the same place where I bought. <laughs> like I said, in Jobek CBD, in Jobek CBD, I've only seen three Nigerian boutiques that have it, that have the Angela Galoso thing. It's not even a serious shop, but the material, if you hold it now, if you hold this thing, you'll think it is something big. Compared to many t-shirts, I have, I have a few t-shirts. And they were from shops that you could say, you know, you know, this is for... And they don't feel like this. This feels special, I mean. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> it feels special. So if you were to hold this t-shirt, you would think, because it doesn't feel like... But that is not what we use to determine. True or fake. Stop using appearances in order to determine something is true. Be blessed, subscribe to the channel. We do this on a daily basis. We are please dismiss lies. Ascribe towards the truth. And I'll see you later. I will do it for content. <laughs> me, you will never see me wearing this. Ah no. <laughs> Outside. <laughs> I like my teacher and t-shirts. I don't have time for thingy. This is for costume. It's a costume for me. <laughs>